afternoon. Welcome to our UARC Home Live Tour of Humphreys Hall. My name is Courtney. I'm a junior here at the University of Arkansas and I'm from Fayetteville and I will be showing you guys around today so feel free to ask me any questions throughout the tour and videoing for us today is Channing. I will let her introduce herself. Hello everyone. My name is Channing and I'll be behind the camera today. I am a senior communication major and I'm from Springdale, Arkansas, which is right next door to Fayetteville. We're both from Northwest Arkansas. So if you have any questions today, please um, feel free to ask those and we'll be sure to answer those for you guys. Yeah. So before we go look at rooms, I just want to show you what's around us. We have a really awesome view from this side. The stadium is just right over there. And this parking lot right here is actually the parking lot that you will be using for move-in. So, that's important. <laughs> and then, right behind you is actually Walton. So, the business college is over here. So, if you are a business major, you can just scroll out of bed and walk right to class. So, that's really, really nice for you guys. And then there's a sitting area out here. So, whenever it's nice out, you can come study outside. And there's one on the other side as well. actually a Club Red, which is like a little convenience store with snacks and drinks and coffee and stuff. And then over here, there's actually a Class Plus in the bottom of this building, which is just, um, if you need any help with like academic stuff, you can go down there and they can help you. And then Founders actually has in the bottom of it um, a Slim Chicken, where the Wild Greens are, maybe Rocket Taco. There's just different options that you can use in there for a meal tray at night. Starbucks too which is awesome and a good study spot um, and then the Union is just right down the sidewalk you can't see it from here but it, it is really close so that's a good reference point but, Starbucks yeah. is best to go to not between classes because that's when they get everybody oh. rushes. <laughs> yeah I'm gonna uh, try to go on off time for that one definitely yeah, yeah. It's, it gets busy in there during the school year it's uh, yeah. a hot place that line can get super long. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but it's really awesome that we have one of those on campus. Because yes. People definitely use it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, don't go there during finals week. <laughs> mm -mm, don't even try. <laughs> because it is really hopping in there during send you an email when you have the package so that you know when to come get it. So that's really nice. Can right, we take this piece? Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, thank you. So we actually have our CRE here with us today. If you'd like to introduce yourself. Hi, y'all. Um, my name is Summer Shirley. I am the CRE of Humphreys Hall, um, and I am stationed in the front office today. Um, basically, what you'll get in the front office is any type of packages or mail. They'll all come through here. Um, Humphreys actually had the second highest numbers of the amount of packages delivered last year, so that's really awesome. Um, as well, you can also rent out any type of equipment for the great room or the kitchen through this office as well. Awesome. Very nice. You want to come with us? Absolutely. Yeah. So we'll go this way. We're going to show you the great room. Let's just yeah. I love the big chalkboard. Yeah, this is super cute. Yeah. Very Got a lot of school spirit here. Uh -huh. So this is the great room. Very bright. Very colorful. Lots of chairs. 
And these chairs are really cool because they have outlets. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah. Are they powered? Can you can you load? Can you plug um, things in? I believe in? as long as they're plugged in, then you can charge things. That's my understanding. Wow. Okay. Pretty cool. This looks like a good spot for some some movie night, some watch party. Mm -hmm. Got some modern chairs in here. Like it. So, Sarah, would you be doing programming in here? We do. We do a lot of programming in here. Um, probably our first three programs of the year we'll have in here. Um, one of those being Humphreys Cafe. So we'll try to turn this whole space into sort of a coffee shop. So that'll be a really cool program to attend. That's awesome. Um, but we also have some really cool like games and um, different activities on the other half of the room as well. Yeah. Cool. Table. Good. Are you a foosball player? I'm not very good. I've never been very good at foosball. What about pool? I'm better at pool. I'm better at pool than foosball? <laughs> but ping pong is probably my best of the three. Really? Okay. Yeah. There's also a piano over there. That's cool. But yeah, ping pong is probably my, my strongest. <laughs> Do you have a home table? No. You know what's funny? They have like the, the Wii. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and like, I got good at it on the Wii, and then I got good at it in real life, so... What? Those skills transfer? Uh, That's not true. Apparently. Wow. Not in tennis, because I'm really good at Wii tennis, and I'm not good at tennis <laughs> in real life. <laughs> well, we just got new supplies from Ping Pong Table, so you'll have to come test out your <laughs> oh, skills. Oh, nice. Please do. So we'll take a dip into the kitchen here. Let me yeah. unlock it. Alrighty. I would imagine pizzas and cookies, mm -hmm. as you said, are pretty popular, popular in this area. Pancakes, we have pancake breakfasts. I lived in Reed, and we would have like taco nights and stuff. So. Yeah. Yeah, definitely use it. And you can, um, like she said, rent stuff for the kitchen at the front desk. You just give them your student ID and you can use utensils and stuff. This is really cute. Yeah. Very <laughs> creative. Lots of laundry chips on this one as well as trash work in this building? Absolutely. So every floor has a trash chute, so any type of small trash or bag trash can go down the trash chutes. We ask that you don't put pizza boxes down them because they don't fit. Um, but there is recycling that will be avail available. Typically they have a recycling bin on each floor. Um, but yeah, um, and the trash is checked every day by our wonderful ISA. Very nice. Awesome. It's an old phone booth in here. <laughs> 
<laughs> little piece of history. Do you know the Do you know the myth, the story, the tale? Yeah. So um, I was told <laughs> that between Yoakum and Humphreys, at the, at that time, these are co-ed now, correct? At that time, it was one was boys and one was girls, and so they got to pick whether or not they wanted phones or air conditioning, and the girls picked phones and the boys chose air conditioning. So there are <laughs> some old phones in here. Yeah, which are kind of funny. And you'll see these water stations. Yeah, we have these. So basically, um, you can just bring your own plastic, or not plastic, but like reusable water bottles. So we can save plastic. And then right here, it'll show you how many we've saved. Which would you say are more popular now? The wooden ones or the steel ones? Or the steel ceramic ones? Steel. Ones? Definitely the steel ones because you, I every class period someone drops one and it echoes. Yes, oh. it's so loud. <laughs> you will hear it fall off of someone's desk and you'll know it's one of those water bottles. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is a big classroom area and I'm, I'm pretty sure if it's not being used as a classroom that if you agree you can come study in here. So it's a big nice space to have. Especially if you do if you like to study in groups, this would be awesome for that. Mm -hmm. Where do your leaf hogs meet? Um, so our leaf hogs either meet here or in the great room upstairs that we were just in. Um, so those are every Monday night. Uh, leaf hogs are just an amazing student leadership opportunity. I believe they're still accepting applications. So if you're interested in programming or being a leader within the hall or doing something amazing on campus, leaf hogs is a great opportunity. Awesome. Up to a room. I think we're going to go to the penthouse, right? Yes, the penthouse. Nice floor, nice floor of That's where the good views are. And just a note that we may lose you a little bit while we're in the elevator, yeah. but we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so, Courtney, you're from this area. I am. Is there any, like, must-sees that you would recommend to someone from who's not from this area, who's me, arriving in this fall? I would say some of my favorite spots that are just unique to Fayetteville. Mm -hmm. Mount Sequoia is definitely one. Yeah. Because I love watching sunsets, and that's a really good view of that, especially in the fall because the trees are really pretty. Mm -hmm. And then, um, I don't know, definitely just go to Dixon Street because they have really good restaurants like Wasabi and Ham and Trees. Everybody loves those. And food trucks. We have like a big area of just food trucks that's fun to go experiment with. Mm -hmm. so good. I'm currently going on a tour every Friday of a new food truck. Yeah, that's uh, so fun. You ever make it down to Devil's Den? Oh, yeah. yeah. Devil's Den is so fun to like get a group to go together, especially when it's nice out. It's so fun. Yeah. Like, I love whiteboard. Definitely a good area to have that we don't have to walk to the library. Mm -hmm. You're saying that what we, what we show you here on this floor is true there. Yes, absolutely. That's awesome. I definitely use the study spaces as much as possible because I love to study at night and so it was it was better to not have to walk to the library and then walk back at night. I could just mm -hmm. actually make the window. Yeah, let's go check out the This way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll go get a bathroom. And I believe there's a bathroom on each wing. So two on every floor. Uh, yes, I think so. Either two or four. Um, I think there might be some on both sides. So you've got your showers over here. You can go look in there. Yeah. Just shower. It's got built-in shelves. And there's going to be one on the other side. And there's some stalls on the other side. Alright. Any tips 
focus on showering the community style or braids the community style? Yes, bring the shower caddy and some cheap flip flops. We're so cute. And a little double G4? Mm -hmm. So we're going to go a 919, I believe? Yep. Yeah. for measurements and stuff like that. And there's also lights under these shelves for studying. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Yeah, I'll show you the chair tricks. Oh, yeah. So these chairs have a little handle. And then it turns into like a gaming chair. It's so awesome. With a little table. You know, I did not know that, so I watched one of the other live tours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're trying to spread the word because a yeah. lot of people don't know yeah. about the chair tray. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. Could come in handy. So you can bring your own TV, and we have HBO and stuff like that. Can I use your hand at the bottom? Of the yeah, actually, do you mind? Yeah. Just a kind of a cool thing. You just put your hand like that flat, and she can get a reading yeah. based oh, on that red dot. I can find a little laser. Yeah. <laughs> there you are. So this is six foot, six feet, and two inches. Okay. And then I'll do the office shelf against the wall so I can get this. We may be off by an inch depending on how we're measuring it. But yeah. It's accurate on the website. It's two feet ten inches. Do so you want to measure the other one? Is this um, where the where the door side and the window side are two different um, lengths? Do you know? I'm not actually in the chair, so mm -hmm. we're all gonna find out together. Let's do it together. <laughs> Learning together. Oh wait, this actually might be somewhat accurate going to that bar. It's probably like an inch off, so probably. Yeah, it's six feet, two inches again. Okay. So they're the same. Mm -hmm. um, Kelly was wondering how deep the closet is. Here you go. It is two feet, two inches. Two feet, two inches. Yeah. And then um, Isabel also, she wants to hang some curtains in her closet. She was wondering the length. Five inches. If you were to put your tension rod behind that lip, it looks like. Yeah. Because there's yeah. a little bit of a lip there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did we already do how wide it was? Uh, I think, yeah, I don't think we did. Let's do it. It's three feet, ten inches wide. You want to get a tension rod. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And also, Kelly was wondering how many outlets are in each room. So you've got one, two, Three, four. Let's take those down the mess. I'll back here, so five. Five? I think five. One on each desk, so you can yeah. charge that, and then you'll each have one under the mirror. Yep. There's a few days left for lofting. Mm -hmm. Yes, so you can see the notches on the bed. You have options to loft your bed. And then you can either do it yourself and use a rubber mallet, or you can go online and request to have it done. But there's a lot of options. And then a lot of people will lock their bed and bring like extra storage, like the little plastic drawers from Walmart or something. Like I did that when I was in Rita, I locked my bed. I put like a bean bag under there and just extra storage. So that's nice. And then you can also. I mean, you have a lot of space if you if you lock this all the way up. So mm -hmm. whatever works for you. Easily put a mini fridge underneath. If you yes, need to. mini fridge, chairs, whatever you want, really. But yeah. You guys have any more questions? 
Um, Francesca wants to know the site, uh, the website you go to to request to have your bed lofted. Um, I believe it's housing.uark.edu forward slash fix it. That's mm -hmm. the one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've mastered it now. <laughs> <laughs> and then if you have like a light bulb go out or something like that, you would also go to that website and then just put in a request and they'll come fix it for you. Courtney wants to know, um, what is the best size rug to cover all of the floor between the beds? So we can so, measure that. Yeah, let me do it from, from bed's bed. Let me see if I can get it. There we go. Um, I'm going to do it from bed's bed. Yeah. Okay. 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 Y